Good afternoon, folks. I want to share with you an important message, good news. And that's the good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Son of God, He came down from heaven and lived the perfect life to satisfy the wrath of God upon sin. Because the Bible says that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, of life, of God, is eternal life. And that life is in His Son, Jesus. Because He was holy and perfect. He was the Messiah, the Son of God, the Lamb of God that washes away the sins of the world. And He died for us, so that we can be forgiven of our sins. We can be brought back redeemed by the blood of Jesus. So that's the good news of the gospel, Christ crucified, so that you and I can have life, can have a reconciliation with God. And the Bible says that there is none good. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. We have all sinned because God is holy. He's given us the Holy Bible and He wants to give you the Holy Spirit so that we can live holy and righteous. So we should seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all other things shall be added on to you. The Bible is the word of God. It's going to endure forever. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God endures forever. So do you, have you read the word of God? Have you read the Bible? Do you know what it says? Are you obey the Bible? Do you fear God and keep His commandments? God has commanded everyone to repent. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We've got to change our mind about sin and realize that, that it leads to death. We've got to change our mind about God and realize that He is holy, that He is almighty, He is the creator, He is all-knowing, He is all-powerful. Everywhere. And we're going to turn from sin because there is a place called the lake of fire, there is a place called hell and it's a real place. And the kingdom of heaven is coming down, it's coming down to the earth and Jesus is the king. He has all the authority, he is the lord of lords. All things were created for him, by him and through him. You are fearfully and wonderfully made to worship God, to serve Him, to give Him glory. And He has appointed a day when He will judge the world in righteousness. Yes, Jesus is going to judge our life. We're going to, we're going to face Him. The Bible says every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. We're going to face Him. We're going to give an account of our lives. Every thought, every word, and every deed. And He already knows. He already knows what we have uh, been doing in our lives. And before that day comes, we need to have the forgiveness of sins that comes from the blood of Jesus. We need to be made right with God. And we can't do it by being good people. This is the deception that people think that they are good people and they're just going to live how they want. And one day they're going to meet Jesus and, and just say, I'm good, I'm a good person. Let me into heaven. And the Bible says he will say one of two things to us. A worker of iniquity, I never knew you. Depart from me, O good and faithful servant. Enter into your rest. Here is the kingdom. Inherit the whole kingdom. So those are the two options that we are going to face. So what is Jesus going to tell you? Are, are you living as a good and faithful servant of God? Or are you a worker of iniquity? That's the, the question, the most important question of life. The Bible says, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Yes, iniquity, sin, lawlessness. Yes, sin leads to death. You've got to repent. He died for everyone's sins. You can be forgiven of them. You can be forgiven of your sins if you repent. 
He wants to save you. He died for you. Jesus died for all of us, for all. He is the propitiation. His blood can wash us clean. We can be set free from the bondage of sin. And only Jesus can save. He's the only way. There is no other way. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man. But in the end it leads to destruction. It leads to death. It leads to the lake of fire. So repent, turn. I care for, for souls. I, I care for, for people. And uh, that's why I come out here and preach the gospel. Because the Bible says the gospel is the power of God unto salvation for those that are being saved. But it is foolishness for those that are perishing. So the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. And, um, and the gospel is the good news that Jesus died for us on the cross. He was buried, he was resurrected after three days. Christ crucified is the good news of the gospel. But how are you responding to, to that news? How are you responding to what God has done for us? Well, we should repent and, um, and believe and trust in Jesus and follow Him. And then we receive the Holy Spirit of God. Your body becomes the temple of the living God. And the Holy Spirit of God lives in you. And that's going to lead you to holiness, to righteousness. It's going to change you from the inside. And, um, and that's what we need to, to make it to heaven. We need to get right with God through Jesus. Be washed by His blood. Be regenerated by the Holy Spirit. So the children of God are those that have the Holy Spirit. Do you have the Holy Spirit of God living in you? Well, it will produce fruit. The Bible says that you will know a tree by its fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Either make the tree good, or make the tree bad. So what kind of tree are you? Jesus is the vine, we are the branches. Abide in Him and you produce much fruit. So are you connected to the vine? A good vine that, that produces good fruit, everlasting fruit. And the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, gentleness, patience, and self-control. So when your life starts to bear this kind of fruit, it's an indication that the Holy Spirit is at work. The Holy Spirit is at work in your life and it's producing fruit. So, that's how you would know uh, the, the children of God. That's how you can tell what kind of, what kind of tree they are, what, what, if they are abiding in Jesus. So, are you abiding in Jesus? The Bible says that you are ever with Him gathering, or you are against Him scattering. So, are you with Him gathering, gathering souls into the kingdom of heaven? Gathering people, because people are precious to God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. You didn't evolve from monkeys. It's a lie. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You have a body, you have a spirit, you have a soul. And God made us from the dust of the earth. And He breathed into the nostril of man the breath of life. A spirit. And a spirit doesn't die. You should fear the one that can just kill the body. But after that can do no more. But fear God, yes, Him. Who after killing the body can cast your soul into hell fire. So it's a real place. Hell is a real place. And your soul is precious to God. I mean, what will a man give in exchange? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? Nothing. Nothing is more precious. And this is what the Bible is, is showing us. You are precious to God. Your soul is precious to God. And we, He paid a high price. God sent His Son. He gave His Son to redeem us redeem us to make a way of reconciliation between us and God because God is holy and the wages of sin is death and he is a just judge he is full of grace he's full of mercy but he will also judge judge righteously he is known by the judgments that he executes and he has appointed a day he's, he's not slack in his promise but he's patient and not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. So have you reached repentance? Have you got to a point where you've turned to God and said, God, I'm a sinner in need of your grace. I have sinned against you. I've lied. I've cheated. I have stolen things. I've, I've done shameful things that, that are wrong. I know it's wrong. I have a conscience. God has given us a conscience that accuses us or excuses us of right and wrong. And if you break one of his commandments, it's the same as breaking them all. So we have broken all of God's commandments. 
and by by trying to be good, it's not going to save us. We've got to be forgiven. We've got to get right with God by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is what washes us clean. That's the the propitiation. Because the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And Jesus gave his life for us. By his blood, we can be forgiven, washed clean when we repent and believe.